Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you in Excel when to use a VLOOKUP function. But I'm also going to show you today how to use INDEX and MATCH, which is what I usually prefer, and I'll show you why in this exercise. So I have a list of countries, their capital, and then in column C, their actual population, and those numbers are pretty correct. So for example, the United States has 324 million people, China has 1,409,000,000. So here we go. I'm going to start off with the V lookup. I'm in F4, and I'm going to do equals V lookup. And I'm trying to figure out whatever country is an F2, comma, my table array is this range, comma. Notice in bold it says column index number. So between A2 to C8, column A, column B, column C, what column do I want to return? It is the third column, which is the population. So you have to put the number three. And then the final comma, true or false, I'm looking for an exact match. So I'm going to use false. So I should end up with the number 65 here. And I do. There's a VLOOKUP for you right there. You can also use index and match, and I have a feeling that a lot of people don't use them because you have to use two functions. So let's go do that anyway. So I'm going to go to cell F3 equals index tab. I'm looking for the population. So I'm going to select this range, comma. Then I'm going to use the match function. I'm trying to figure out what country. Well, that's F2 still, comma. I'm actually still in the match function. Look up array. The question is, where could France be? Well, that's A2 to A8, comma. I'm looking for an exact match. That's going to be a zero. So I'm done with the match function. And I'm going to just simply, so I used index and I used match. I should still get the number 65, I hope. Hit yes. And I do. So there's the vertical lookup, V lookup. There's index and match. If you're saying, Chris, it seems to me that V lookup was easier. I'll, I'll agree. It's easier to type it, but here's the issue of the VLOOKUP. Do you see that argument that I have right there that I'm looking for the population and it's the third column? So if I insert a column, my VLOOKUP no longer works. Index and match will always work. So there's one reason I prefer index and match to VLOOKUP. Let me delete this. So now they're the same again. Here's the second reason I prefer index and match to VLOOKUP. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. If I go find out what the maximum population is, and once again, these numbers are correct for cities. Atlanta has 473,000. New York has 8 million. So there's the highest value. That's the max function. But the question is, act like I have thousands of cities listed. I want to know what city had the highest population. That is going to simply be, that is going to be simply equals index. Once again, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the city. So that's going to be A2 to A6, comma. Then I'm going to still use match. And what is it I'm trying to figure out? That value, comma. Where could that value be located? This range. Close, comma, and I'm looking for an exact match. Press enter. Press yes. I get New York. What's so cool about this is 
I can only use index and match on this one. You cannot do a VLOOKUP. The reason is a VLOOKUP will only go to the right. So let me click back on that other worksheet. So when I was looking for France, and once again, it doesn't matter what country you're looking for, it, the numbers will change. If I'm looking for the United States to figure out the population, It'll only look to the right of VLOOKUP will. An index and match will look to the right, but it'll also look to the left. So for example, I'm going to change this to large. This range, comma two. So I'm looking for the second highest. I got Houston. I'm sorry, yeah, I got Houston, but my index and match went to the left. A VLOOKUP will not look to the left. So there are two reasons to use index and match over vertical lookup. If you need Microsoft Office training, please contact me. Have a wonderful weekend.